Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. News sources officially confirmed that just days after Tony Podesta, founder of Podesta Group resigned from his position, CEO Kimberly Fritz has decided to also jump the ship to launch her own firm instead. According to a report by Politico, Tony Podesta, the firm's founder, tapped Fritz as his successor when he announced he'd stepped down as chairman last week, hours after an indictment was unsealed, charging Paul Manafort and his deputy, Rick Gates with violating foreign lobbying law. The indictment accused Manafort of hiring the Podesta Group to lobby for an ostensibly independent non-profit that was under the ultimate direction of the Ukrainian president, his party, and the Ukrainian government. Fritz has been expected to relaunch the Podesta Group under a new name in the days after Podesta stepped down. But after more than a week of working to hammer out the details of what the new firm would look like, Fritz announced at a staff meeting late his afternoon, that she would resign and start a new firm, exacerbating questions about the future of the Podesta Group and its dozens of employees. Podesta's name has recently been compared with the scarlet letter or a curse, with people saying some of the best talents will probably leave the country along with him. Tony Podesta stepped down from his spot in the company amid Robert Mueller's investigation into the activities of Podesta Group. Podesta Group was subpoenaed in late August with four other PR firms who worked with former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort in a lobbying effort for a pro-Ukraine think tank, ECMU, which was tied to former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych. The subpoenaed firms are Manafort's Mercanti, LLC, and the Podesta Group which was founded by John and Tony Podesta, but it was only managed and operated by Tony Podesta himself. What do you think of this? Share your opinion.